What's up, y'all? I'm the creator of Tokyo Mimi, the final thought, episode 53. And um, I thought I might have to do a follow-up video on the whole uh, story and, you know, how everything's gonna go on, because I left comments to certain individuals who commented on my videos. And you know what? That, that, those comments are not gonna be read by everybody. And if you're a fan, you know, you're gonna look at this video and this is gonna explain everything from here on out. And, um, First of all, I'm uh, going to start out by saying that this idea got into my head when I was about 15 or 16. I was back in Canada, uh, in Canada but uh, then I spent six years there from 12 to 18. And I just came back uh, to Europe for a while, to my home town. So I actually wanted to do, do this video there, but I don't know, I'm a bit lazy. So that even this got put off. Uh, but it doesn't matter, you know. Um, and on that part, I'm just going to say that I got accepted to university and uh, I'm, you know, don't, <laughs> ex uh, don't, don't ex uh, accept, um, don't expect me to, you know, do a lot of videos on this, on, on this part, because this is just uh, something I do for fun and, you know, studying comes before something like this. And what doesn't mean I'm going to leave it alone, you know, if I'm going to have some time and I know I'm not, I don't have anything else to do, homework done, you know. I'm, I'm just got some free time. I'm gonna work on this, and um, I know you know there was a lot of there was like months of uh, time span between the videos that I uploaded, and because I actually had things to do, actually I, I actually built a chopper, a pedal chopper, and I had exams to, to carry about uh, to get my credits and stuff from high school. So you know I had things to do, and. I can work on this, and there were times where actually I did the video. I had like eight minutes done, so I said I was tired. So I was like, okay, you know what? Leave it for leave that for tomorrow. Save it. And when I opened it, you know what? I got put off because I, I I I actually had some things to come up and I had to do. And um, you know what? I opened the file and it was corrupt. So eight minutes of video that I had to do, put all those pictures together, you know, all that stuff got lost and that's about five hours of work so like, oh no can we do it again but I did it I did it part one is deleted because somebody spammed it twice and it, it's gone and, and I, I, don't, I don't I don't know where the original widow is but it doesn't matter you know what I'll make a better one of course when I have time now one thing I can do is uh, actually I, I do a lot of pictures and it takes me less time to draw a picture and uh, then you know and make a video like that, definitely. And I love the drawing. So, and um, you know, I'm gonna be showing you some of my artwork that I did. You know, I do all kinds of artwork, but mostly anime. You know, and um, and cars. A lot. I draw a lot of race cars and and stuff like that. And a few guns. You know, I'm not a war person. Anyway, so as, as far as the story goes, I'm gonna like uh, explain what happened. Episode 53, basically what happened, Nishiko was walking home, she was confronted by this alien who looked like Deep Blue. I know he, he looks a bit different, but you know what, I, I, I don't have the time to draw all those pictures and you know scan them in. Plus, I, my drawing skill wasn't as good as today. Today it's excellent. I mean, you know, in the last uh, few weeks. And um, I'm just going to be... Uh, about this and I'm going to tell you where you can download the whole story and read it. It's 50 some pages I think and it took me months, a few months to write and um, anyway she gets confronted she's being told that you know she has to take the place and run the galaxy this galaxy and of course she thinks this guy's not so he's like no I mean she's like no and of course now try to now that's the name uh, tries to scare her. Now the idea was, the original idea was that they have actually machines like robots and soldiers out, out there. Mao had soldiers behind it who would actually come to Spain and actually sort of invade it. But the thing is, these robots would not attack people because this planet Earth was actually had uh, spy androids who were just spying on people and things and you know. Uh, from an enemy, enemy uh, galaxy, so Mao's army would basically go after these uh, 
enjoyed, you know, and hurt them. So basically, no one would have to be actually hurt. A lot of people would be scared to death. Well, not to death, but a lot of people would be scared, but nobody would be hurt. And that's not how it happened. Because the, the uh, machines got raped by this enemy galaxy. And, you know, when the war started, Mao had no idea that these machines were actually controlled from another place. And, um, you know, then all hell broke loose, and Mao actually tried, to, he looked like he didn't care, but, you know, he tried to look like Trishi would have, he didn't care about it, it was all of this happening. But in the background, he actually had soldiers trying to con, con uh, trying to destroy these machines and help them, you know, and um, you know, uh, uh, and uh, one of the other things that happened was, um, you know, that Zapporo, uh his daughter Yaki, I named her Yaki. Um, actually got caught in this crossfire. Now Yaki actually didn't come back to uh, fight with these girls. So she's actually from the future. She, she traveled 20 years back to save her um, Zach. I don't want to say Zakuro because that's too long. So to save her mother. And um, she actually remained for a while. After she managed to save her mother, she actually remains for a while. You know what? I'm just gonna look around and meet these girls because you know what? Twenty years in the future, I will know. I know how to speak to them. And um, actually, to my surprise, not a lot of people asked about Yaki, and I was expecting a lot of comments because I mean, uh, she was like a she was a kid, one of the girls. It was like, and I don't think I think there's like one comment on that, which is like kind of uh, surprising, but uh, just so you know, you know, uh, this is not the original story, I just made this up, and um, you know, it's got a lot of complicated stuff to it, so, I'm going to tell you, um, you know, if this still confuses you, um, I'm going to tell you in a minute, minute where you, you can download the, the story along with three other shorter stories. But um, one is just a dream I had, which actually started this whole thing. I became obsessed with Tokyo Mew. And um, now it's like, meh, whatever. I don't care. I just do it for fun. Because I'm an optimist. <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a big optimist. And um, don't, uh, don't tell this to anyone, but my parents are really optimistic. But anyway. Uh, so, um, uh, the other thing is, is uh, Mint, that she was actually a lesbian now. Um, I know that Mint only um, admired Zachary, but I just, you know, I was back then, those few years back, I was reading through some fan fiction, and, you know, some of them kind of suggested Mint might have some feelings for her, but, um, you know what? I have said to myself, I'm going to take this to another level. I know I'm not, I'm not going to cross the border here, but I, mean, I just did it because it's something different. It would be, then I, you know, it would be, I could actually say that this was my idea. It, was, it wasn't from the original story. It was something completely different. You know, it's that, that much more original to, uh, to my creation. Of course, the credit, you know, goes of the artwork goes to the makers of Tokyo, all those people, and the sound, you know. So everything of that's related to Tokyo goes to them. Those that those, those credits go to them, not to me. I just did a fan fiction basically in a video, and um, yeah, looks like there's gonna be another part because I haven't shown you my artwork yet. I haven't answered the question of some of my commenters and so on so figure out for part two